Hello and welcome back to another installment of Pokey Fodder, where today, back by popular demand, we are going to let Carlo take the wheel. Now what I've done is, as you can see, all of these Pokemon are 10 chain levels. <laughs> really ridiculous. I actually ran this deck a few times and I think I just tried to do too much with it. Instead of taking it at face value for what it is, I tried to be cute and crafty and really just kind of overdo it and it failed miserably. But if you were watching Monday when I did live stream, and if and if you're wondering, I do live streams on Mirativ, M-I-R-R-A-T-I-V. It's an app for iPhone and Android from Google Play and from the App Store. If you follow me on Twitter or if you're on Discord, which are really the only two ways I know, but I on Twitter it automatically tweets a link out whenever I'm gonna do a live stream. But then on my Discord, I have a, a channel on the sidebar where not just myself, but anybody who is doing a live stream, if they want to advertise their live streams, feel free to post up the link over there, but you can find those links on my Discord, and as always, links are in the description below. Nonetheless, I was short on time yesterday doing just live stream, and I had to kill a little bit of time before a booster opened. And so someone had asked me to do a 10 chain level deck. I put this one together, and as you see, double chance, double chance, two overdrives, Mega Blastoise, Mega Gengar. I don't really think I need any other descriptions there, do I? We are going to jump in to league play. And these Pokemon aren't all level 10, chain level 10. So it's not like giving Carlo the keys to a Ferrari. But how about a really souped up Mustang? How about that? So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna step aside and give Carlo his turn to shine. And depending on how long these take, sometimes they go really quick, sometimes they, they go longer, but the strategies that Carlo uses, and, and if you don't know, Carlo's the AI from the single player game. We're just gonna load up some moves here. Let's see what he wants to do. The AI love one of two things. They love the long throw on turn two when it's completely not necessary. And they love to open up going off to the side there. Let's see how my opponent wants to react to this. Okay, oh, I like this so far. This is putting a lot of pressure on my opponent. Let's see if he wants to go Mega Gengar to the corner. All right, like, like so far, I am A-OK -okay with these moves. Mega Gengar against Mew isn't the best matchup. I, I probably would have taken the entry point, but I mean, the end result is the same. Okay, so here we go for the win. That's a good game. You can't beat that. I don't know why you're respinning. So, seven moves. <laughs> and winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> All right. Well, that was, that was nice and quick. And a rainbow booster to boot. Thank you for the AI tickets back. We're just going to jump right into another one. <laughs> We're four and a half minutes into this video. And Carlo is one and oh. We'll do a best two out of three. I mean, this could be, this could be like a 10 minute video <laughs> with two wins. Oh no. JX3XJ. It's a palindrome. Only 2,700. And if you'll no notice, the reason why I'm playing opponents that are um, ranked 3K and under 3K, yep, let's just go, Carlo. You got the wheels is because I've just been losing a lot. 
and by a lot, I mean like I'm probably about 500 for the month. All right, so same opening, but this time he wants to challenge a little bit more with Cobalion. And here we have, interesting that with Cobalion being there, he wanted to bring Mega Gengar. Okay, the opponent's gonna be a little bit more aggressive. He's gonna survive that attack. Let's see, does the AI, ah, the AI is savage. Goes all the way into the corner. So if my opponent has gold block, he has to use that to so take Cobalion. I think that was a bad choice. Although I don't have gold block. NFGs. We're going after it. That's not good, but we can reroll a white here. Wow. <laughs> we are just over six minutes into this video. And if Mega Gengar can hold off one attack, we'll have two wins by the AI in less than 20 turns. X attack. Okay. This is pretty risky. And that is... Oh no, because he can make me respin. Ooh. He staves off a loss there, but he's going to go back to my to my PC. I imagine Mew is going to run up to the corner. Okay. And now it's Mew on Mew. He should... Nope. Okay. Okay. Now is where, now is where the game begins. What's he going to do? Bring Reshram up against Zapdos. Probably should not attack. Okay. So now he's threatening the other entry point as well. Hmm. Decisions, decisions here. Does he attack? No, he backs off. Okay. Okay, okay. So, see so if he shuttle flips back onto the entry point, which is going to prevent my opponent from bringing anybody else out on the field. I'm okay with that play. Not that the AI needs my permission. Hmm, this is actually kind of scary. I think you bring Blastoise out to here. I think is the right, what? What is this nonsense? And the AI just does not care about its own goal. So now I really don't know because he should move Zekrom one away from my goal. And I don't know who you come in and attacking with. I don't like any, <clears throat> sorry about that. I don't like any of the matchups against a 130 or yeah, 131 attack here. Ooh, very risky. That's, that's not going to get... You have to hit fly or it's GG. That's a good game. So once again, Carlo decides to completely ignore its own goal. Which would have been super easy. Watch how many ELO. I'm going to lose like 50 ELO from that. 45. That hurts. Once again, the, the AI just... 
pays zero attention to the possibility that its opponent could even make a move towards its goal and gets punished with a loss there. So one game each and here we go. The final, the final one, best of three. Nah, I really think the AI should have like brought Blastoise out. Okay, so the AI is going to open differently this time. And I have no idea what influences how the AI opens. Um, but Mew is about to just get obliterated by Tapu Coco. Ooh. Maybe he could roll the Wish. No. So Mew is down. Does he come out with Zapdos? Okay. And if he loses this roll, it's game over. Wow, the double miss. Ooh. That was risky business there. And I don't know why the AI doesn't pay attention to its own goal seemingly at all i don't know why okay it's another another solid roll this opponent's 33 61. two max revives <laughs> all right is the ai just gonna keep going the ai doesn't care does not care at all. Okay, he's gonna bring out. How does he want to answer? Don't tell me he's gonna attack it. But why? Uh, roll gold again. No, you're gonna roll a miss. And, and this is, like I said, like the last game, the AI just doesn't pay any attention to the fact that your opponent is going to try to go to your goal. It just, I don't know if it just doesn't care. Something about the algorithm. And the reason why I'm doing this is, is because I keep getting AI tickets. They, they give them out as, a daily login bonus or when you're doing your dailies you'll get ai tickets and i legit i don't know why they're even in the game i'm totally i'm being totally honest here they're not a reward if, if it was a reward it would play it would play well and it doesn't like like I, like, I can see AI tickets being one of those things that you have. And when you get in a position late game and you just don't see a move, and if you're like me, you're just like, I don't know what my next move is. Then you, you turn on your AI tickets and maybe it sees moves or knows the odds of different matchups better than you know off the top of your head and it makes those moves but i don't see the ai doing that at all I, I i honestly i can't tell what the ai is thinking like maybe my zapdos is a better matchup but it says zapdos is level a c level 10. Even the AI can mess with my Pokemon. That's good to know. Oh, yeah, it won't let me. Okay, so so his Zapdos is a level 10, C level 10. And my Zapdos is a level 9, C level 10. So his Zapdos is actually better than my Zapdos. And the AI wants to keep bashing its head into the wall 
against his Zapdos. And I and I just don't know why. It seems like really bad programming. Or maybe I'm asking it to do something that it's not meant to do. But it really looks like we're just going to go oh and or two losses and one win here. Okay. So we survived there. I don't know why my opponent keeps disconnecting, but he basically has no chance based on time if it's taking me one second or less than a second. This is a scary proposition right here. Okay, well, Blaziken can't move now. But Subtile can knock out Gengar. Hmm. I just, I don't know. But these are always kind of fun to see what kind of, A, what kind of nonsense the AI comes up with. I've, I've, I've seen stories and read stories on Discord about people who using AI and AI just essentially walking away from their own goal. <laughs> and everybody's like, why? What? People think that maybe the AI got a nerf. I don't know if that's true or not. Yep. There you go. Although it's going to bring Blastoise out of the PC as well. Let's see if he presses forward with Blaziken. I would take, if, if he moves Blaziken here, I would take Zekrom and cover goal. The AI will probably bring Mew off the bench. Okay. And now my next move would probably bring Mew off the bench. Okay, so I, I agree with that in principle, and that's going to be a loss. So the AI just didn't... The AI did a whole lot of nothing. It, it, it was going well there with, <laughs> with Gengar for, you know, on game number two for all of, you know, seven turns. But you just can't leave your goal completely unattended like like the AI does. So we will take minus 64. <laughs> um, we'll take minus 64 ELO. And we will we will call a day. But like I said, and I honestly doubt that any developers or anybody from Pokemon Duel, whoever makes the game, even know who I am, much less watch or have care what I have to say. But the question has to be asked. If you're going to give out AI tickets as a reward, they give them away in gyms, they give them away <clears throat> for your dailies, and then for login bonuses. And at this point, I'm of the opinion that they are worthless. There is no value to having those. And in fact, the only resemblance of a value that those would hold would be in a situation where if you're playing, you get interrupted and have to go do something. You just turn on the AI tickets to let it finish. But as you've seen that the AI doesn't even play remotely smart. So you might as well just hit forfeit and lose anyways. But my question to developers would be, A, why are they in the game? Why are AI tickets in the game? My follow-up question would be, and based on whatever their answer was, is why are those given away as a reward when the AI is so awful? Like, there are 
a lot of people who are who have been leaving the game and moving on to other things. And I'm wondering, why not swap out the reward of AI tickets and give out five Carmenite? I mean, there was, wasn't there a gym or a hall or something where it gave out one Carmenite or, th or three Carmenites five times if you, for wins? So 15, why not swap out and take these AI tickets and make them five Carmenite, three Carmenite, something, something worth the time and the effort because AI tickets just, they're not worth the time or the effort and they're definitely not a reward and they're definitely not a thank you for playing our game type thing. That's, that's, that's kind of my two cents on the AI tickets. People ask me, they say, I have 999 and it's just filling up my message box at this point. Like, I feel bad for you because you have to spend them. But I, I don't recommend using them except for maybe a gym. You know, maybe, maybe the final day of a gym and you put together just a fun deck and load up load up the AI tickets and see what it can do towards the end of, of the, the week of the gym or something. I don't know. But I hate to be, I hate to sound down and end the video on a down note, but like, come on, Pokemon Duel, let's go. Let's, you can do better. And as consumers of your game, I think everybody expects better. So we'll leave it at that. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Just in case you didn't know, I shot this before Tuesday. So I'm hoping that nothing big is happening Tuesday and that I'm missing out on it. And um, I'm gonna take that chance. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know what to do with your AI tickets. I wish you could just trash them, sell them for a coin each. I don't know. They're half a coin each. I mean, they're not worth anything, but I've been over all that. So that's going to do it for today. And until next time. <laughs> <laughs>